All right, guys, we got a Beamer in the garage. Just rolled in. We got a problem on this. Engine light came on. First, it's a 2011 323i with a 2.5 engine, inline six. It's a N52 engine. That one over there, it's a N55. They're all kind of similar, but not really. Displacement is all the same. Anyways, it's in the garage. Engine light came on. It drove in okay. And the lower RPM, it kind of breaking down the power, misfire. It's hesitate, low RPM, it's about to stall, I guess. So we're going to dive right in. We're going to diagnose and find out what's the problem. Let's go. All right, so I kind of pulled the scan tool and quickly scanned it. I need to have a direction where I'm going to this. A couple misfire, number one and number five. I'll show you the code right there. So diagnose on this, we're gonna have to take all this thing apart first. Open up the engine on the top here. We'll dive to the spark plug and coil. So I quickly took out the bolts on the cowling. So there's two bolts right here, two bolts on the other side, four total and two in the front. And this will come out. This is the best time to change your uh, cabin filters located right there. And then now we're going to take out this uh, lower piece right here because the engine is stuck right underneath so we need to open it up. That one is loose already. There's a tabs right here that you need to peel. This whole thing will come out. I'll show you on this side. So there's a tab right there and tabs on that side. And then there's a rubber little grommet right here that you just need to go on the side. That come out. Uh, this piece right here, uh, there's a bolt on the front, one on each side, and that's it. And then there's a grommet right here that needs to come out. You have to pull this to the front forward, like that, okay. And uh, this part right here, just peel off the cover, front cover, and then pull this out just like that this is almost coming out all right so there's a harness on this side you need to take out this uh, harness right here because this whole thing will come out pretty soon i just pry it off with this uh, little trim tool right here and right here you spin it that way Line up that notch to the hole and then just pull it off. Let's put it on the side. All right, there's a harness underneath. We'll take that one out. Plastic right there. All right, there we go. That's out. There was one, two, three. Four, five pieces, five plastic molding to take out that cowling out. There you go, guys. It's exposed. You can see the engine cover right here. That's the next that we're gonna take out. Just torque screw in the front, and then one on the back. Just take out that cover. All right, guys. So let's uh, slowly take this uh, engine cover out here. All right, so I'll get you guys closer here. There's six coil, six plugs on this. We have a problem on the cylinder number one and then cylinder number five right there. There's a six one over there. So five and one is a problem. We're gonna open this one up here. Let's just take a look, see how bad is that spark plug. So the owner of this vehicle, uh, he bought it like, it's been about a year ago. No, when, when when he bought this, doesn't know if the spark plug been changed before. All right, so you can see it looks clean in there. There's no oil leak or anything. And that's a good sign. On the N52 engine, um, use a 5.8 deep socket for spark plug. Not on the N55, it was a six point right here with that 14 millimeters. It's so narrow. This is for N55, the one on the SUV over there. But on this one, that's the socket we need 
516. So we're just gonna quickly take a look. So he's been driving this for what a week or a couple of weeks, I think, with that engine lights on, misfire. So the good thing about this engine is uh, when uh, the ECU detect a misfire, it will shut the injectors on that cylinder, wherever the misfires is. In this case, one and five. So it shut the injector so that it won't wash out the cylinder wall and the piston while it's running. All right, got a magnet. Here we go. Moment of truth. Mm, so yeah, it's not bad. Here's a new one. So the original one is Bosch. I got an NGK. It's all the same. Okay, the gap on those two is it's not bad. It's pretty close. All right, we'll do a test, spark plug test on here. We'll connect the coil. Connect the spark plug. We'll ground it out and then let it rip, see if there's a spark. All right, we're gonna ground this uh, spark plug. Make sure it's all the way in there. I'm gonna ground it out to the block. Oh, here we go, strut tower, the nut. All right, here we go, I got a good angle right there. Ground it out. Coil connected to the connector right here. Let's go start the engine. We got spark, so that's a good sign. And you notice that uh, it's dry. It's not wet because maybe because the injector is not pulsing. Maybe the injector is plug or because it's misfiring. It's shutting off the injector using the, the ECU. So so many things, you know. I could do the test on number five, but it will probably do exact same thing here. Same result, I have sparks. All right guys, so next panel of attack, we'll check the injector pulls. I put the spark plug back in there, coil, connector plugged in. Let's uh, go in the cab and then we'll put the scan tool in there. We'll check the pulsation of the injectors. All right, so there's our auto MK. 808 right here you can see cylinder one and five several cylinder misfire so number one is the number one spark plug that i did a test we got sparks we're just gonna do one at a time here All right, guys, there we go. We'll narrow this thing down, injector timing, fuel, cylinder one. Cylinder one, that's weird how it's showing only cylinder one eye angle. All right, let's start the engine. On idle and RPM is up to 3000 RPM doesn't feel like it's uh, misfiring there is no shakiness on the engine a pulse for injector is good all right we'll do a cylinder balance test on this I'll pull the connector on the coil See? It's okay. There's no pulsation. There's no vibration. It's the same. That one is really bad. I can feel it shakiness. 
Going back to normal is good. Go, it's breaking down. Yeah, right there. You can see that we got some poles on the ejector and then the cylinder number one sparks is going just advancing and re retarding the the timing especially the injectors here it got some uh, pulsation i bet you this is a, probably a plug injectors I delete the code that's why there's no engine lights on operation smoothness value in the cylinders here you can see one and five they are running fine they're running together with the other cylinders and I could once in a while when it's idling I could feel a little bit of a, a jerk on the engine that like goes up a little bit and come back there, there, there. Alright guys, so before I go for a quick drive, I'm just gonna change the spark plug on one and five here. So we know that it's uh it's brand new. Or the new one. The manufacturer on the SI service information on this, uh, you don't put grease on that tread so the spark plug keep it dry. Uh, this will be like about what 12, about a foot pounds of torque on this 12 inch foot pounds. There you go. We'll do number five is next. All right, so number five is right here, got buried right down there. Pull that off. We'll check the spark plug out, see how it looks like. Alright. What's hot? Hot, hot, hot. Yeah, it's still dry. Look at that. Dry it up. Alright, here's the new one. Put it in there. All right, well, uh, put the coil in and then the connector wire to the coil. And there you go. Press it all the way down. All right, all the way in. All right, let's go for a drive. Yeah. 